intelligible tutorials in the today's session now we are going to discuss about the sockets connection oriented programming and as well as connectionless programming and two different kinds of the protocols like tcp and as well as udp now we are going to discuss about what is the meaning of a socket see all of you know the process whenever two processes are communicate from one to another they use pipe mechanism so in our earlier videos i have given the introduction regarding the pipes how the pipes can be used in the command point of view also i have given how the process can commun communicate with the help of the pipes in inter process communication so in the same manner whenever an application is running on different machines this is the application one in client machine the same application is running on the server machine how these two can communicate these two can communicate with the help of a construct called socket okay this is a construct that can be used by the client machine